Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to our channel. I'm Eva. Today we'll be talking about the fantastic new features in Donate Cloud Platform version 1.5.1. .1. This update is packed with features that enhance flexibility, scalability, and the overall user experience. To help us break it down, we have our old friend Jamie here, who's going to walk us through all the exciting updates. Jamie, say hi to everyone. Hey guys, it's Jamie here. How's it going? I'm so excited today to reveal this new version since we launched the Nate Cloud Platform. We've been actively gathering customer feedback to make it better. And thanks a lot for your awesome suggestions. And in this video, you will find out that Dynamics new update is all about making things easier and more efficient for installers, property managers, and residents. Sounds great. I can't wait to dive in. But before we do, I guess we have some new viewers who might not be familiar with our cloud platform. So why don't we start with a quick intro of it? Sure. Dynamic Cloud Platform is actually a cloud-based system for managing Dynamic intercom devices and the Dynamic Smart Pro app users. And it supports multiple roles, distributors, resellers, or installers, and property managers. And different roles come with different functions. And for instance, distributor can create an account for reseller or installer and manage the license. An installer can manage device configurations what property managers can create Dynamic Smart Pro app user accounts and check logs. Mm -hmm. And Dynamic Smart Pro app allows users to answer calls from door stations, receive security alarms, check logs, and unlock doors by various methods. Yeah, it's an all-in-one management portal. For more details about Dynamic Cloud Platform, you can check out this video afterwards. Now back to our topic today, let's jump right into this new version. Okay, let's get this show on the road. All right, Jimmy, you've just mentioned that this update is all about making things easier for installers, property managers, and residents. So what's new for installers? Tons of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And first up, we've integrated the installer and property manager roles into one. What does that mean, though? It's all about flexible management. You know, for small and medium-sized business, installers often double as property managers. And in this case, installer have to log out and log in to another account. Okay, let me show you the new feature. Okay. First, we need to log in the installer account. Go to project and add project. And let's create project one. And we need to select the country. And as an installer, you can select yourself as property manager. Okay. And you can allow residents to register face now. And this is also a new feature we're going to cover later. And after adding the project one successfully, click on the top. You can seamlessly switch to project one. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think that's no more logging out and logging in. Um, it's definitely a game changer for workflow efficiency. Exactly. Two rows, one login, super streamlined. Anything else? Yeah, for sure. OTA updates are not a thing. Installers had to manually update each device through its web UI before. It was kind of time consuming. Oh yeah, I can imagine that. So what's the big improvement here? The cloud platform now supports OTA updates. With just a few clicks on cloud platform, you can update any devices you want remotely. And it's a massive time saver, especially for some large projects. That sounds like saves a lot of hustle. So how does it work? Can you show me? It's really simple. And once your devices are connected to the cloud platform, you log in the installer account, go to the update section, go to firmware list, and select the devices you want to update. Mm -hmm. And select the firmware version. You can choose to update immediately or schedule it for later. And the system handles the rest. Go to the update list. You can check the update log here. Wow, it'll save a lot of time for maintenance. Totally. And speaking of making life easier, replacing old devices is now the breeze. Wow, really? Because I believe replacing devices was a hustle because installers had to back up the old device's data. And when they add a new device, they have to manually fill in the data again, right? Yeah, that was both time consuming and risky in terms of data security. So what, what about now? Let me show you. And first, connect a new device to the cloud platform, then log in, go to device, click on more. Here you can find replace device. And here's the new one and the old one. And we need to fill in the new one. And scroll down to set a network. Click save and next. Now 
Make sure the device is online. And the old device will be deleted and the data will be transferred to the new device automatically. I see. This is a new device. It's quick and efficient. I see. No manual data entry or complex setup required. It's great. What else for installers? As for installers, in the past they had to make sure their laptops and devices are on the same network to access its web UI, which was quite restrictive. Yeah, that's true. And now, if you got internet, you can access the device web UI from anywhere via cloud platform. Just log in to the cloud platform, go to the device section, and select the device you want to access. Click on more, access device web server. Why is it failed? Good question. You have to go to the device web server first. Go to system. Okay. And just fill in the account and password. Okay, here we go to the system and allow remote access first. I see. Now let's try with different network. We just switch our laptop to another network, which means it's a different internet. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to the cloud platform, click on refresh. Try access web server now. The device web server will be opened in a new window. Access will remain valid for 30 minutes. Click open. And now you are in. That's awesome. It's very convenient. I heard that face ID registration for residents has also been improved. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. Installers can now easily enable allow residents register face when creating or editing the project through the cloud platform. Mm -hmm. As we can see, now we are creating projects, see that the country and the property manager allow resident register face. And this means residents can register their face ID via a Smart Pro app anytime. I see, that's really user friendly. Like it not only reduces the workload for installers, but also reduce the risk of um, image leaks for end users, right? Exactly. So what about property managers? What new features do they get? Property managers are in for the trade too. Some property manager need to handle multiple projects, and but each project needs to be managed separately with different accounts in the past. With the new feature, they can now manage multiple projects with one single account. That sounds very efficient and time-saving for larger teams managing multiple projects. So how do we configure it? Can you show us? Okay. Log in the installer account, go to project, click on add, and create project one. Select country. Here we select ourselves, Jamie Installer as property manager. And same way to add other projects. And when creating or editing projects, you can assign the same property manager to multiple projects. And here you can chat the projects we've assigned to Jamie Installer. Mm -hmm. All the projects we just assigned it to Jamie Installer. And as we just mentioned, installers can also be property manager now. Yeah. In the top right, you can easily switch to property manager account. And as a property manager, just a single click to go to different projects. One account switch between projects without logging out and manage everything without multiple accounts. That's good. Yeah. What else updates for property managers? Access car management just got a lot easier. Property manager can manage access cars from anywhere via the car platform. Just plug in the car reader to your PC. Mm -hmm. And you can add cars without going to each device. You can even add multiple cars for multiple residents in one go. That sounds great. Can you explain how it's done? Sure. 
okay, connect your device to the cloud platform, log in with your property manager account, mm -hmm. and go to resident. Access control. We can edit the card for the resident and select the ports for the card reader. Start read. And please make sure you have downloaded the driver and it's properly connected. Now start reading. We can read the card. Okay, we just read the card and save it. We can check the card status and the card number. That's very intuitive. Okay, let's add it, the second one. We can add it, this resident. And choose the port. Start read. And it's properly connected. Let's tap the card. And you can add more cards to it. Mm -hmm. Click OK to save it. It's that simple. Got it. And finally, the residents. What's new for them? Now we've got a brand new app interface for them. And it supports eight languages now. Can you show us? Yeah. Wow, the new interface looks really good. It's more intuitive. What else? As I just mentioned, installers can allow users to register their face on Smart Pro app. It's secure, quick, and reduces the risk of facial image leaks. Let me show you. Okay. This is a door station we've added to Project 2. Yep. And go to their profile, click on Profile Photo and follow the steps to register their face ID. Mm -hmm. It's easy and secure. Once it's uploaded, you can edit the photo as well. Yeah, that's super hassle-free for end user. Anything else? Yeah, we are introducing a new feature for residents with an Apple Watch. Open the app on both your Apple Watch and your phone to sync the data for the first time. And after you have set it up, unlocking the door becomes an easy and when you get close to the door station, simply click the unlock icon on your Apple Watch and the door will be opened. And it's actually a Bluetooth function. Mm -hmm. So you just need to be within 1.5 meters for it to work. It makes access even easier. And now we've got two new members to the platform, S617, C112. You can just buy S615 or S617, then register Smart Pro app to use it without Indomiter. And what's more, you can also buy Indomiter to use. This is all about the new features of the platform. Wow, sounds like we're stepping up our game with this update. Absolutely. It's a big leap forward for anyone using our intercom systems. And we have more exciting features coming soon. It'll cover more features for different roles too, right? Yep, and we are already working on it. Mm -hmm. For installers, we've got an easier way to connect the device to cloud platform. Just enter the verification code on the device. And for property managers, there are new functions like the delivery room solution and access control group to enhance the overall security for communities. Mm -hmm. And for residents, registering your app account will be simpler than ever. Sounds exciting. Yeah, guys, you won't want to miss this. So stay tuned for next update webinar. Yep. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching today. See you next time. Bye.